Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today, we're doing a very cool sound system upgrade on my E39 wagon. We're gonna be doing the Bav Sound Stage 1 speaker upgrade kit. Everything in the kit is 100% plug and play and bolt in. We shouldn't have to make any modifications to the car to install it. And it's a huge quality upgrade speaker over the factory ones we have in the car. So huge thanks to Bav Sound for sending us this kit to try out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to unboxing it. And then we'll show you how to install it on the car. So in front of us here, we have the stage one speaker upgrade from Bath Sound, as I said before, and it comes with four of the mid range speakers, two front tweeters and two rear tweeters that go in the door panels, as well as the adapter harnesses that you're gonna need and a little bit of added adhesive in case you need to glue in the tweeters for the rear doors because they can be a little loose when you get them in there. So we're gonna start by unboxing the mid ranges. They're gonna be the same between the front and the rear ones that are in the headliner. These ones are a great upgrade over the factory. They have a fiberglass woven speaker cone that's much better compared to, I think the paper material that the factory ones are made out of so with these upgraded materials you'll be able to run these speakers a lot louder than the factory ones without any distortion and you'll hear a lot better bass and clearer treble Now this second big box is just gonna be the other two mid ranges. So like I said, two of them will go in the front door speaker boxes and two of them will go in the rear of the car in the headliner. I'll show you guys how to install these in a few minutes, but for now let's go ahead and take a look at the different tweeters that we have as well. So here we have the 20 millimeter rear door tweeters. These are a drop-in upgrade. Of course, you do need the adapter harness as you can tell already, but these are gonna replace the speakers that are in the rear doors right behind the front passengers of the car. So these are gonna make a huge difference because these are really close to your ears and you're gonna hear them really well. The next couple of tweeters that we have are actually gonna be the front tweeters. Now these are a little bit bigger and they're gonna go in the corners of the door right where the window meets the door panel. And they have a little thread on the back because we're gonna be installing an adapter plate, this little plate right here, and that's gonna allow us to kind of fit it into that corner where it has to go. So that's gonna be our unboxing of the Bab Sound speaker kit. And as you can see, all of these components scream quality and all the connectors are gonna be plug and play with the factory chassis harness. So that's gonna make this thing super easy to install and I cannot wait to show you guys how everything goes together. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now that we've got everything unboxed and looking real good, I cannot wait to start installing this into the car. And before we do get things installed, I wanna show you guys just how bad my current speaker setup is. Of course, we will do a sound comparison at the end of the video before and after this upgrade. But before we do that, I just wanna show you what it feels like to turn the radio on in my car. So the current condition of these speakers is not that bad. In the front though, there's a ton of disparity between how the front two speakers sound. If I just go ahead and put the driver's side speaker here, you hear how low and bassy sound that sounds. And then if I do this one, that one's got more treble in it, but it's also making a huge rattling noise. The rear speakers sound a ton better and you know, the quality is much better coming from the, I think the mids that you have in the door right here, combined with the speakers that are in the headliner and then the subwoofer that we have in the rear of the car. So I'm really excited to see how the new stuff sounds. Let's go ahead and get to installing it. 
So we're gonna start off by removing the front door panel because this one has two speakers, both a mid-range as well as a tweeter up here in the corner. Now there are two screws that hold the door panel on if you're not familiar with it. And there's one that's gonna be in the AC vent, which I'm actually missing. And then there's gonna be the main screw holding the door handle onto the panel. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw and we're gonna leave the door handle with the door itself. So that way we can just pull the panel off. And remember there's gonna be some connections for the window switch, as well as the tweeter that's in the door panel, and also the lamp light that's on the bottom. But once you've got all those things removed, you can go ahead and throw the panel out of the way. And then we can turn our attention to the speaker box. So the factory speakers are covered by this sound insulating foam and all you have to do is kind of just peel it off. You're not going to be reusing it. You don't need it. So it's all trash basically. And then in order to get the speaker out of the box itself, we're going to use a T10 bit on a socket actually in order to remove those screws. And then we should be able to get the speaker out and disconnect it from the factory harness. So here we're taking a close look at both speakers side by side, the factory versus the Bob sound. And it's visually apparent the difference in quality and materials that are used on the Bav Sound speaker. And that's what makes it such a great upgrade. Being that it fits in the OEM location and uses the OEM connectors, there is no cutting or splicing involved. And these speakers are made exactly for each car and application. So you can guarantee that the sound is gonna be top notch. You even get this foam in the box, which imitates the stuff from factory. So it's gonna have a really nice sealed fit up against the door panel when you get everything reinstalled. Now, something that Bob Sound mentioned in their installation videos was that they recommended squeezing the connectors before you reinstall the new speakers. And that's because these connectors kind of fit a little loose from factory and I had that experience. So go ahead and get your pliers out, squeeze them just a little bit to make a nice snug fit on the new speaker and then go ahead and reinstall with all the old hardware. So the next speaker on the chopping block is gonna be this little tweeter in the corner on the front door. And it's super easy to install. You just need to pop off this little trim piece here just by kind of pulling on it in different directions. And I'm gonna tuck it behind the door here. And then there's just gonna be one T30 screw that's holding the speaker to the chassis of the door itself. It's actually also holding the side view mirror. So make sure that you don't loosen both screws at the same time, otherwise it'll fall off. But go ahead and pull this screw off, get the speaker out of the way, and then reinstall the screw. And later we'll be using the top screw to mount our new speaker.
So like I said, remove the top screw and then you're gonna go ahead and place the bracket into the screw and then reinstall it. And there's gonna be a little bit of bending involved in this to get it in the right position, a little bit of trial and error. But once you do, it's not that hard and then you can go ahead and reinstall the trim cover and it's gonna look perfectly factory. So now remember that the rear door speakers are actually located in the panel itself up here in the corner. So we're gonna go ahead and do this on the bench here using a flat headed screwdriver. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pry this thing up and get it out. And uh, it takes a couple of minutes, a couple of tries, but I do eventually get it loose and we can go ahead and now compare it and replace it with the new one from Babsound. So now with the rear tweeters installed, we can go ahead and install the rear mid-ranges. And like I said before, these are located in the headliner itself. So you have to remove this speaker cover. And unfortunately, both of mine broke in the process of getting this off. I guess that's to be expected when, you know, these things are 20 years old and uh, they were kind of hanging off in the first place. So we're going to go ahead and probably replace those at a later date when we also do the black headliner conversion on this car. But for now, we're just going to focus on the speakers and these are held in by four Phillips head screws. Going to go ahead and remove those and then the pins on the back and then we can compare it to the new one from Babsound. Now you can see here that these rear speakers are a little bit different looking than the ones that I had in my front speaker boxes. And I think that's because that my front speaker boxes were the ones that I pulled off of the M5 parts car. So anyways, these things are still no match to the Bav Sound speakers. And so just like the other speakers, we're gonna crimp the connectors a little bit and then reinstall them using the factory hardware. Super simple. And then we're basically done with the whole car. So now that we've got all the bath sound speakers installed, let's go ahead and do a comparison of the before and after.
Wow, so I'm really impressed, but I can't say that I'm surprised by the quality of these speakers because I've definitely tried them before and installed them for customers' cars, and the quality is great, the sound that you get, and also what I'm noticing is I get to mix with the balancer a little bit better, and before I had sort of a custom uh, tune to this in order to get the speakers to sound halfway decent, but these speakers sound a lot better through a lot different ranges, and I think that I can't wait to really break them in with a few of my favorite songs. So after listening to a few songs through the radio, I am super happy to announce that the sound quality is amazing. It's just a ton better over the factory speakers. You remember we had that weird staticky noise like that, as if something was loose or broken in the speaker from before. That's completely gone now. Each and every single speaker sounds absolutely crisp. And we have much deeper bass from the speakers as well, because they're not made out of that thin foamy material that the factory ones are. Uh, the fitment was great as well. The holes lined up on every single speaker. They lined up beautifully. And we also had adapter harnesses to make sure the speakers were direct plug and play with the factory harness. So no modifications were needed. You know that makes things a ton easier on the install. And the overall install time, I would say was probably about four, maybe five hours for everything. If you're really taking your time. Uh, I know it's gonna take a little bit longer for you, those of you guys that have these sunscreens that are integrated into the rear door panels. So that might be a challenge for you guys, but they do have instructions on their website showing you how to get around that to install those rear speakers. So definitely go check out Bob Sound. I'll put a link below to this exact kit that I installed today, but they make tons of applications for all other BMWs and Mini Coopers as well. Everything is plug and play, bolt in, and really affordable as well. So check them out. And if you like this content, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Subscribe to this channel if you're new and you haven't yet. And as always, I hope everyone has an awesome day. We'll see you next time.